Good evening everybody, Bosco Piper UK. Tonight is a very special night for me because I will be smoking my first ever Cohiba Behike. This is a 52 and um, if you haven't seen one before they really are a sight to behold. There is a lot of hype about these. They're extremely, extremely expensive, extremely, extremely difficult to get hold of at the moment. Um, they've had a, apparently a few years of bad crops um, in Cuba of the medio tempo, which is the two uppermost leaves on the tobacco plant, which as a general rule um, is not used, or they're quite rare being just two leaves per plant. Um, I'm not too sure myself, to be honest, why it is or isn't used or why it is or isn't rare or difficult to get, but essentially it's to do with the, the, the fact that it's got the two top leaves which really boosts the flavour and makes them a lot richer and fuller. Um, the wrapper is very nice, very attractive, very, it seems to be like quite a thin wrapper, um, but very, very smooth, very thin veins, um, it's got a nice little sheen on it, um, and it's just, just a very nice looking cigar. Good dimensions, got a little pigtail finish on the cap. And um, this particular band has got two security features apparently. So there's one there, you can see a hologram there. And I assume possibly it's the Indian Chief possibly is one of the other ones. I'm not entirely sure myself. Um, I don't tend to do a huge amount of research before I review a cigar, because not review, sorry, before I smoke a cigar, because I want my uh, opinions to be uncolored. So there we have in terms of construction, it's a very full, feels really quite um, solid in there, um, with a very slight amount of give, but it really feels very well packed. Um, you can see the foot there, it looks pretty dense, so hopefully the drawer's going to be okay. Um, so, this is my set that I use now, this is a new Calibri. Stealth 3 lighter, which I'm very, very happy with, and this is my V cutter. So, I still think this is the best cut in the business. Look at that. There is a newer version of this, or a bigger version of this, but um, to me this one felt the best built. Like, it feels like it's built like a tank and will withstand anything. It's a Stealth 3 by Calibri. 3 torch. It's got a nice big wheel at the bottom for adjustments. But it enables you to keep it quite soft, just enough to toast the, the foot. Should have done a dry draw, sorry. shortly well I've only taken literally one draw the first thing which hits me which I've not experienced before is the amount of oil on my lips I've never I mean I've had it but I've never really experienced it to this level um, it's quite an oily texture there starts off pretty glassy pretty hay like That oil really gives you like a meaty kind of texture in your mouth. Um, 
at the moment it's really cedar. Cedar and grass. A little bit of leather. The draw on it is spot on. Very, very good. It already produces lots of smoke. All right, we'll see how we go. Well into the first third. Um, at the moment, still got that really thick, oily texture in my mouth. Um, Flavour-wise, um, it's very similar to a limited edition cigar in that um, you can taste the age. It's rich, tangy, musty, um, but in terms of flavour, um, I'm getting mostly cedar and grassy hay, um, sort of brighter kind of flavours, a little bit of vanilla in there possibly. Um, so far, not really getting any deep flavours, coffee and that kind of thing, which um, I think usually is associated with these, but um, we'll see how we go through. Construction is still very good. Combustion is excellent. The burn is not superb, but it's okay. Um, and draw is excellent. So, from that point of view, it's very good. Well, I'm uh, into the final third. Still quite oily on the lips, in the mouth. Occasional salty flavour. Um, also an occasional mild fruity sweetness. Um, and you, you, you get, the whole time, you get the rich, sort of tangy, sweet-sour kind of flavour. Um, all the way through. Um, I think this is a feature of this um, cigar compared to others is that it usually takes time to build up to get that richness and this one has had the richness literally f virtually from the off um, and I guess that is to do with the additional rare leaf which and the aging process of this cigar. Um, in terms of body um, I would say it's medium to full for most of the cigar um, but it actually seems to have calmed down a little bit now um, which is unusual, but we'll see how we go for the last bit. Um, nicotine has been fairly present, um, and the flavours are very nice. Um, so you, you've got that sweet sour tanginess um, throughout. Um, there's l l nice sort of bits of sort of sweet flavours coming in, uh, even a bit of uh, vanilla and cinnamon. Um, but um, I expected this to be a bit of a powerhouse, and uh, it hasn't been that. It's been very nice, very smooth, um, not really any harshness to it, even though this is a 2016 cigar, so relatively young. Um, so um, the one thing which does sort of come through is the fact that um, the contents of the cigar are definitely aged, um, and that um, media tempo leaf, the top leaf, has seems to have to give it that richness throughout, which is um, certainly very nice. Um, is this an explosion of flavour? No, I don't think so. Um, it's, it's um, how to describe it, I would say it's meticulous, very well behaved, very refined, um, and it, it's very predictable in its um, excellence, if you like. It's, it's, um, hmm. I would say it's not a Rolls Royce, but it's let's say a Lexus in 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 that it's um, very efficient, very well made, good flavors, performs well. Um, it's basically across the board a very well behaved cigar on all on on all all, all aspects on combustion, on construction, on draw, on um, the flavors are very nice. It's just not explosive. It's not wow. Um, I wouldn't be sort of chasing down my brick and mortars or cigar shops to try and find these. Um, they're very nice. It's certainly something which is definitely something to have um, once, at least once in your life, if you're a cigar um, enthusiast. But um, in terms of return for your money, very, very nice cigar. Um, but again, I... I Unless you're really in that kind of money bracket where money's no object, um, I don't see that you get your value for money. 
um, but don't let that detract from the overall um, opinion. It, it's a fantastic cigar. It's very, very nice. Just not explosive, but really very impressive on all fronts. Um, if I was going to give it a mark out of 10, um, on everything other than body, I would give it 10. Um, but in terms of complexity and body, 8.5, something like that. I expected a bit more. Um, so, very, very nice cigar. Anyway, we'll see how the rest of it goes. Well, we are at the end of the cigar. A couple more draws. Um, it's actually very smooth now. Um, some cigars become extremely hot, extremely sharp. Um, there's no hint of bitterness whatsoever. Um, and it's really smooth. Um, so, really I would summarise, pretty much as I said before, there's no explosives here, there's no fireworks, no crackers, um, but really just superbly well-behaved cigar on all aspects, on all fronts. As I said before, on combustion, on construction, on draw, on um, the burn line has been pretty good all the way through. Flavours have been consistent throughout, the richness has been there throughout. A um, bit of chocolate coming through now, but quite mild. Um, in some ways, I, I expect this tree to be really full. Um, I would say the last third, it definitely took a, a notch back in terms of fullness. Um, the body of flavour was quite full in the first third and much of the second third, evened off and, went, as I said, stopped back um, towards the end. Um, but very nice, rich, refined flavours, just not explosive. And in some ways, if I think about it, um, that actually makes it an excellent cigar. I know I said some um, negative points in terms of I expected more, but on reflection, um, I think that this is an advantage. Um, obviously, there are different times for different cigars. Sometimes you want that explosion, you want that real strength, you want that pepper, you want a, a zing in a cigar. This one is... I'm actually going to revise what I said before. Um, I said before Lexus Rolls-Royce. Um, probably not the best analogy. I would actually say this is actually more Rolls-Royce in that it's so refined and so gentle and smooth and you just feel very cosseted and you feel um, that you're really just on a nice leisurely stroll but with perfunctory behavior all the way through um, and that's what this cigar is um, so I, I'm going to revise that um, opinion of what I said before and say that this is really um, a superb cigar um, a gentleman's cigar it behaves in a gentlemanly way if that makes any sense um, so I think the magic of this cigar is the way it holds itself, the way it doesn't lose control, it doesn't become um, erratic, and it doesn't become aggressive, and it doesn't become harsh in any way, shape or form. And that's on a cigar from 2016, and that is an accomplishment, a real, true accomplishment. Um, I have no idea what these will be like in a few years' time. Um, I don't know if they gain body or if they become even smoother, I don't know. I don't know enough about them. It's the first PK I've ever had. So, um, yeah, I think it's an amazing cigar um, for its temperance and its behavior. So a real big thumbs up. Excellent cigar. Um, very, very much enjoyed. Catch you on the next one.